Hi everyone, Radhe Radhe. Um, so today we're doing chapter 3 verse 29 and uh, this is a little bit of a turn as far as I understand it. Um, so Bhagavan Shri Krishna here is saying to um, Arjun that the people who are knowledgeable should not disturb the people who are ignorant by forcing them into something into the spiritual world so basically what i understand from it it's a little convoluted and i still don't they use the word gunas and i don't understand what the gunas mean so i um, i will try to understand that but uh, uh, what he's saying is uh, don't push people beyond their capacity so if people are in karm kand mode this is my trans my understanding of it if people are in karm kand mode don't tell them to go into karm yoga mode and don't definitely don't tell them to go into gyan yoga mode and renounce everything you know then it will not work they will not understand it they'll they'll become uh, very dissatisfied and they'll they'll become deluded and it, it it will not work you cannot push people beyond the the their capacity or beyond where they are ready you can you can encourage them to get to the next step which uh, i don't know i'm i'm translating this now i, I should stop <laughs> um th this is what i do basically i try to encourage people with one tiny little thing like i'll give them one little finger and i'm like okay try this you know maybe try chanting try chanting this thing once like try doing that the mala the beads once 108 times just once that's it it takes seven minutes or eight minutes just do it once <laughs> um and then, yeah, go from there, you know, or try going to the temple once or something like that. Like, I mean, just a tiny little thing. So, um, yeah, so what, uh, let's go to the verse. Prakriti guna samudha, sajjante guna karmasu, tana kritsna sna vedo mandan, kritsna vinna vichalayet. So, Prakriti Guna Samudha. Okay, let me read the full translation. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Okay. Bewildered by the modes of material nature, the ignorant fully engage themselves in material activities and become attached. So, basically, um, people who become attached, people who don't know, people who don't have this knowledge become attached. But the wise should not unsettle, unsettle them, though these duties are inferior. Um, so, that last part... I'm going to ignore right now. Let's let's see. So prakriti guna samudha. Now mudha is deluded. Samudha means completely deluded. So guna means by the modes. Now guna seems to have multiple meanings, and I I'm not even tr going to try to understand guna right now. Prakriti is material nature. Prakriti means material nature. So um, and then okay, I'll continue and then explain sajjante guna karmasu they become engaged sajjante they become engaged guna again is uh, material guna refers to material the three modes of material nature or material or whatever karma karma of course is activities prescribed duties work you know so activities here so um, befooled by the material identification they uh, in they become engaged in material activities by the modes of material nature something like that basically people uh, bewildered by modes of material nature the ignorant engage themselves in material activities and become attached that's what the, that is tan akritsna vedo mandan tan those akritsna uh, people who don't know akritsna is people who don't know kritsna later on is people who do know Okay, so people who don't know, vidho, people with a poor fund of knowledge, uh, mandan, mandan is lazy, people who are who don't know and who are lazy, a little bit of a judgment there, <laughs> kritsna vinna vichalayet, one who is in factual, one who knows, should not try to agitate, vichalayet, vichlit, like in Hindi, it's vichlit karna. So, like, should not try to agitate. So, people who are 
you know befooled some mood her who really really don't know <laughs> and so he's not saying only people who are deluded i guess that's there must be some significance to that he's not saying people who are mildly deluded should not be we should not try to agitate them he's saying people who are completely deluded we should not try to agitate them the the wise should not try to agitate them. maybe there is something there so yeah people who are uh, who don't know and who are too lazy to try to learn yeah so i guess he's saying that if there are people who just simply don't want to know and who are too lazy and who don't who are completely ignorant leave them alone um why he's saying that i'm not sure maybe it'll come up in the future but it makes sense i mean it makes common sense it makes logical sense if somebody is not interested then let them be right let them go through their own path everyone has their own path and everyone needs to follow their own path i used to be an atheist i was completely ignorant and if somebody tried to tell me about god at that at that time i was not ready for it at all i would not have heard i would not have listened i would not have understood i was like i was completely on a different path what got me onto this path was the personal growth journey which was the gratitude journey and i went through this gratitude and it took me a few years to get to that but i started feeling so grateful about everything around me through because of the personal growth and and i wanted material gains right i wanted total material gains for all of that and it was that journey of gratitude that made me notice start to notice that because we i i we most of us many of us are so used to just seeing the negative in everything right and so it became very real to me this this whole concept of glass half full glass half empty and perspective um that when you shift your perspective and you start looking for the good then you will see the good and then i saw so much good through all of the painful what i thought were painful experiences i saw so much good that i realized that it can't be random it can't possibly be random like you know because there was a chain this good this happened then this happened then this happened and this happened and therefore i ended up having this good in my life so so yeah so the reason so at that so i had to go through that path if somebody had told me to chant at that time i would have said what are you talking about like i don't i i this doesn't make any sense to me why should i waste 8 minutes of my life chanting <laughs> that that's what i would have said at that time so i had to go through my path so i guess that's what he's saying here that you have to don't don't if somebody is totally ignorant like i was and uh, they are totally uh, engaged in material activities like i was and who are who do not know and who are too lazy I, well i wasn't see I, i don't like the judgment word right any time that there's that judgment kind of thing i'm i'm not um Uh, i i withdraw a little bit from that so i mean i wasn't lazy i just i just wasn't ready for it so um anyways so then people who do know should not try to um engage with them um so swami hukanand here says those who are deluded by the operation of the gunas become attached to the results of their actions but the wise who understand these truths should not unsettle such ignorant people who know very little um okay yeah so krishna with people with uh, knowledge should not disturb a krishna with people without knowledge yeah they should not force their thoughts by saying you are the soul your body is like whatever um so, yeah okay that's it for today we'll do um uh, verse 30 tomorrow wish you all a very very beautiful day radhe radhe